I uh, live on the North Shore of Oahu on Sunset Beach. I have a love for the water and uh, I've been in the water my entire life. It started with surfing at eight and then it started into outrigger paddling. My lifestyle was just very active, you know, and I was like in the martial arts and I was actually training for my third degree. And then while toe surfing one day, my back went out really bad. And I came to Todd and I said, I showed him my MRI and Todd goes, you're gonna need artificial disc if you want to continue to do what you're doing. I said, no, no, I don't want to do the artificial <laughs> I don't want the big surgery. You know, I said, I said, I would let, rather try the microsectomy. And he was like, okay, we can do that. You know, and he was very like, you know, he didn't like force it on me. He said, you know, you're, this is what's going on with your disc. It's collapsing on the side. It's a bulge, it's a big bulge. You know, he goes, but your S1 is kind of going too. He goes, you know, I think that you're gonna need the, um, you know, a, a, the ADR, which is the newest thing, which you're a good candidate for. And I was like, no, let's just try the microsectomy. So he did the microsectomy and I was out of pain, you know, and I was doing, I was doing really good. And, um, you know, I feel like I did the rehab good and everything. And um, six months had gone by and, uh, and then the thing completely collapsed. Like the side that the microsectomy happened on, the vertebrae went basically bone to bone on that side. So I was back to where I was and I just picked up the phone. I said, Todd, okay, <laughs> I'm ready. Ready for the disc yeah, replacement. Yeah, ready for the disc replacement. And, uh, and he was like, okay, you know, good. We'll, we'll take care of you. Let's, let's get you over here and let's do it. Yeah, and I decided on your case to do a two level disc replacement because of all the things you mentioned, uh, how yeah. active you were and functional, yeah. living on the North Shore, surfing and kite surfing and toe surfing. And so, looking at your films, you, two, those two bottom discs were very degenerative, right. and then you were really continually pinching that side, which was giving you the leg pain, and the back pain was worsening as, yeah. as, as well. And so you were a, a great two-level artificial disc candidate. I just basically said, <laughs> look, man, I just want to keep doing what I do, and that's kind of why I sought him out. It's like I, I, want, I was hoping that I could continue to live the lifestyle that I live, because I would be devastated, I really wouldn't want to be, honestly, I wouldn't want to be alive if I was like on the couch, eating pain meds all the time and you know, not being able to like do this kind of, live the kind of lifestyle I did. I was out in a couple days, you yeah. know, and uh, in like three months later, I was driving a jet ski around in 30 foot surf. And we've been friends ever since. It's been yeah. amazing, you know, and he, he got on my jet ski and he was driving it around, the kids were driving it around and, uh, and he goes, I want one of these. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now he has his own. I have my own jet ski yeah, now. And so, yeah. and Conrad, pull, you pull me around. Yeah. And I've got my three artificial discs. And yep. you're too. We got five artificial discs on one jet ski out there. Yep. And we're towing. And he tows me into waves. I yep. can't surf like him at all, of course. But I just stand there and surf. But I'm still surfing. Yeah. Yep. And, you know, Conrad's just amazing surfer. So yep. it's been a wonderful thing to have a friend as well as a patient yeah and uh, he's just a, a fabulous athlete he does care a lot about his patients it's like i just wouldn't have been the same if i would have went to anybody else i just truly believe that you know that's a, that's a, like kind of a faith thing or a, a belief that you know that that the universe took me to the right person